but all right, we shouldn't even be here right now. This is a long story and a crazy time to get to this attraction, but you're gonna have to go to the start of the story to see what happened leading up to this. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I have toothpaste in my mouth. Good morning, everyone. Well, today is the opening of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at the Disneyland Resort. It's January 27th. We came thinking that nothing was going to happen. D23 announced the Disneywood 100th anniversary. I'm like, oh, okay. So we're just kind of here by accident, which is cool. But we did not get a reservation this morning at 7 a.m. Ah. I'll get over it. I'll move on. See a brighter future. You know what, it's totally okay. There's another chance at one to get on the virtual queue. But we're gonna go see what we can see in the park. Decorations are up, the party's in full swing. Today is the kickoff of the Disney 100, the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. So, woo, happy birthday, Walt's Company. But Disneyland is doing great, like compared to this, to Disney World's 50th. It's pretty impressive for how much is gonna happen tonight. New fireworks at Disneyland, new world of color, a new attraction, festivities, parades, craziness. An improper celebration. The Lilibo, Walt's personal caboose. It's right here, greeting guests for the 100th anniversary. Good morning. The lions are already here to see Mickey in his full dapper outfit of the 100th. It's gonna be a wild day. <laughs> Just follow a Disneyland vehicle when the main street's crowded and it parts the way for you. Like the Red Sea, kinda nice. Good morning, good morning. Hey, thank you, hey, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. Good morning. Dude, the energy is alive. It's changed so much since the park is reopened, COVID and everything. No masks. People are just free to kind of be themselves, and there's a new ride. This is a big mark in life, for, and for us Disney fans, I know I don't, a lot of people don't care, but this is a big day. Street is selling a new Mickey Mouse balloon popcorn bucket that's all iridescent, and the line goes all the way over here by the partner statue. And within the Jolly Holiday, here are the four sippers slash tumblers that you can get. The Mickey Mouse sipper on the left, that's the big seller this morning. Well, we couldn't get on Mickey Minis. I'm sorry, Seth, I failed you. He's already leaving. But we're gonna do Matterhorn. We're just gonna get some blood pumping the adrenaline rushing. There are loads of bloggers, bloggers, I guess myself included, and characters just walking around today. It's a wild day. It's like you're just seeing so many cameras and like the craziness. Everyone's trying to get the popcorn bucket still. It's a wild time. And in correspondence with the Disney 100, the app is shining bright. Look at that. Very iridescent everywhere. Just basically the whole theme, not down here, is iridescent. And we can see our first peek into Mickey's Toontown, which is reopening in March, but look at that. Bits and pieces of the Runaway Railway. Well, there's no better way to celebrate a hundred years than going on Alice, one of the best rides in Fantasyland. And talking about history, this is one of the remaining ticket booths that used to distribute tickets A3 to get on the attractions up until the 80s when you had to give a ticket to go on a ride. Oh, hey, hey, Captain Hook, we're kind of photobombing. Hello. <laughs> dude, just three bros and three bros and a slug and a caterpillar, not, not a slug. Oops, dude. My bad. It's one of those rides you just can't get enough of, especially all the practicals. Queen of Hearts and 
And the lines are continuing. Check this out. The Galactic Grill right here in Tomorrowland. They're selling more tumblers, the ones that we saw at the Jolly Holiday, but people are waiting. She's got all the popcorn buckets, my goodness. But here's a, ooh, look at that sunburst. Here's a better shot at the nice new iridescent platinum Mickey Mouse popcorn balloon buckets. Got Mickey on the front, 100 years on the back. 100 Years of Wonder, very shiny, and they are selling fast, my friends. But, and in honor of the 100 Years of Wonder for the Disney Company, look at the new popcorn buckets, and also the drink cups have been updated, but we got some popcorn, folks. And this, oh yeah, look at this. The Magic Key Holder popcorn bucket with Walt Disney brandish on the side. Somewhere, there he is, there's old Walt. And in all honesty, for a 12 o'clock on probably one of the busiest days of the year, this is nice. Look at this. This is nice, yes, yeah. Looks like every square inch where they can sell popcorn buckets, people are lining up. Frontierland, Tomorrowland, Main Street, where else? I'm not much of a food blogger, because I want to be above that, but the apple pie churro, that's where it's at, you guys. It is sweet. It tastes like Thanksgiving just exploding in your mouth, but you're at Disneyland. So $6.75, no discounts, just flat. Brown sugar, a bit of cinnamon just sprinkled all on there, like big chunks of it too. Darn impressive. I don't really like having modified churros, but this is where it's at. Well, there was a party over there screaming in celebration. It's one o'clock. The new virtual cues have dropped, and we sadly did not get one. Darn it. I, I just don't know. I don't know what we're, we're doing, doing wrong. It's funny because anywhere in the park you'll hear people hooting and hollering or also crying at one or seven. Not much has been going on today. We can't get on that many rides. Mickey has kind of fallen through, but we are at the Blue Bayou. Well, we're going for it. We're just full on food, food bloggers today. I'm kind of a hypocrite, but chicken gumbo, $8. That's looking mighty fancy. Some rice in there, some green stuff, some brown stuff. A lot of stuff in there. And next to us, they have quite the collection. Look at those popcorn buckets, Mickey's. That is a, a impressive collection. All right, just under 10 minutes later, a Monte Cristo is here. This is massive, so you can split it like we are. Save some money, get an extra side of mashed potatoes for like a buck fifty, I believe. And you're good to go. That's a lot. And the best way to eat this is just kind of, you know, stab into it. And just have it like this, like a kebab. What? And crazy to think we were just over there. Now we're over here. It's Inception. Disneyland Inception, you guys. How much fun is that? Not to brag, we can't see us, but we kind of been over there. Like we were, we were actually, we were just there actually. So I guess it's kind of brand new. Um, it was pretty spendy. It was forty-six dollars for one Monte Cristo, the gumbo, and we split that. No drinks. That was also a tax and tip. Oh, talking to us right now. Wait, why am I talking in an accent? <laughs> Trip being the opening day of a new attraction, they kick off with a massive celebration. Look at all this space. This is nice, dude. And all the vloggers and people that are here. Like, I can keep my arm out. I'm not hitting any anybody. This is awesome. So it is 4:43. No, sorry, 3:43. Fireworks not till 9:30, and there are people already lining up. Six hours to wait. And the fountains are in full force. The brand new fountains for the bedazzling of the castle's 100th anniversary. Well, not the castles, but the companies. Well, 
Well, it is 8 p.m. even. The new fireworks are at 9.35. And right behind us is the castle. We're staking out at the Plaza Inn getting dinner. And then hopefully gonna be able to see the fireworks from here. This is a darn good view and we're sitting down with chicken dinner. This is a win. <laughs> short not a critique but I was like oh my gosh that was so good and like it just went by so fast it was like it was so amazing and Kanto oh, that was awesome that was like overwhelmingly cool every single Disney movie apparently animation wise like my we god saw Planet. dude we saw it I can't be on that bandwagon you're right I haven't seen it in about 15 years but you missed the movie you were you were watch, it. watch Treasure Planet that was so cool, and Baymax coming across the sky. Not only that, he extended his arm. Like when he was going, I'm, I just threw it now. That just the Imagineering, and the engineer behind that was fantastic. And post show, oh my goodness, this is the, these are the crowds. These are the crowds, my friends. What a day of age we live in. This many people coming to see history in the making. It's been quite an event. So here's the Plaza Inn. Here was our seat. We were sitting here for an hour and a half, just eating very, very slowly. And then we got to watch the fireworks. We just split a chicken dinner and got to have a, a seated viewing, which was pretty great. Well, hello from the future. It's actually Sunday. What you're watching now, it was taken on Friday, 27th of January. Two days later, we finally scored a reservation for Mickey and Minnie. So I'm gonna put that in the video now. It's not on the actual day, but it's gonna be, there's a monorail. It's gonna be still in this festivity. So we got on at the 1 p.m. boarding group. This is very nerdy, but I was in Critter Country. I just hit refresh once right when it turned 1 p.m. And we're group 137, and we gotta get to the entrance of the attraction by 11.08 p.m. It's 10.12, we're at the Grand. Let's go over to the park. Let's check it out, you guys. In a way we failed, but in a way we did not. All right, let's just, let's go on the ride. Oh, hooray, hooray, everybody. We are walking under the Toontown sign. Brand new. Oh man, the music is pumping. And the Arshi blows, folks. The Arshi blows. We made it with 20 minutes to spare. I believe even if we were late, they'd still let us through, but I just had to show my barcode. They didn't even scan it yet, so 
pretty laid back, but let's check this out. Wow, this is, this is really amazing. I can't believe they turned the five and nine into this. This is gorgeous. You don't have to Very show. cool. Look at all these nods. Movies, Goofy Friday. Very fun. This is really fantastic looking. The Absent Minded Professor Von Drek. High School Goofical 3. Feisty Ducks. Look at all these Disney nods. Miska Muska. The Scroogeous Millionaire. Fantastic. It's cool because it's very 1940s, 1930s Hollywood theater. Film strips, Cold Steel, Chipmunk Trap. Oh, very amazing. So funny, everyone's like taking photos and videos, myself included. Everyone else is gonna put this on YouTube. But it's cool, like it's yourself doing all this. Checking this out, and this is moving the end. Check this out, playing crazy homage. Now we're getting into the classic Mickey Mouse eras. This is a darn impressive cue, my gosh. How amazing. And over here you can see the enchanted pages are washed away from the Fantasia brooms. Oh, what? Like the Mickey before the Funko Pops? That is awesome. How oh, cool. Oh, something's happening. Oh, look at that. The hat's moving up a little bit. Very cool. It's great that the whole theme is Mickey's celebration of a feature film in the El Capitunes. This is an overload of happiness and amazement. I can't believe this is actually in Disneyland. You can believe this, the Beanstalk. One of the most iconic Mickey shorts. Finally, his own attraction, it's due time. Yeah. This wheel spins a little bit? Yeah, interactive cue, does anything happen? I don't know, I feel like a little kid. You guys, Potato Land representation and the piggy, I made a shirt with that pig because I thought it was the funniest thing. They played it at the Disney store when I worked there all the freaking time and it became a part of my identity. Alright, so, getting a little like overwhelmed, trying to film it all, take it all in, but oh, just take it in. Come on, this is a part of the park now. Look at this queue, I mean, amazing way to keep you entertained. Ah, oh, just like a creative sense, imaginary sense, freaking cool, freaking cool, and I think the coolest part is coming up right now. As we enter into the modern day Mickey Mouse shorts, look at this concession stand that you can just walk up to while you're waiting in the line. And it has a plethora of Easter eggs come on from all the new shorts. Also, power limes instead of power line. Golly pops, polka dot, candy acorns like the old acorn tree, which I think is still here, but it used to be the pit of acorns you could go jump in as a child. Oh, amazing. 1118, Mickey Mouse's birthday. Let's see, 1928, his birth year. Freaking hilarious. Free candy every sixth Tuesday of the month. Kevin Rafferty jokes, man. I I believe he had some say in this because he oversaw it in Florida. Sacco sugar. Like, this is totally Kevin Rafferty up to the max. Fantastic. Potato land. Potato land. And not only that, but the popcorn itself is shaped like Mickey Mouse's noggin. And the Minnie Mouse one right there. How? I mean, that is some detail. That is, has to be handcrafted, right? Wow! Potato land, baby! Potato land! And a little Patrick Begora nod right there. The mustard. How funny. Very cool, yeah. Oh man, someone already stole something. Come on, craziness. That's crazy. Extra hot sauce, all Patrick Begora. I think we're getting into the final stretch of the queue, but I don't want it to end. I hope you guys are enjoying my take on all of this. I know there's a lot of views, a lot of videos on this queue, but this is just so cool, like walking through, what a blessing. So, didn't pay a dime to get in here, other than the park admission. Look at all this. We have officially made our way to Theater 3. I'm not trying to be too much of a logger. I don't want to take away from anyone's experience, but wow, we never got to see the pre-show in Disney World, which is such a blessing we got to see it in Florida, but hey, this is new. Look at this thing. Oh, hiya, folks. Wow. <laughs>
Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here Loki motive? Uh, sure, Goofy, why not? Thanks! You'd be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! <laughs> Man, what a cartoon overload. Amazing. Even the Lord's number. Oh, it's branded. It's metal. Got the Lord's number for this. We're on the train. Here we go. The, the train. Goofy's on up there. Thank you. cars two rows each so there's eight rows this is a rather large trackless system down here but how cool yeah oh this is so expansive Synopsis a quick and easy word will be that it's a cuteness overload, but man, they really knocked it that one out of the park quite literally. The Disney Park, and comparing apples to apples of Toontown, they got rid of the gazebo, some seating arrangement areas, which maybe they'll add back. A lot of open space, I'm assuming, for the extended queue that's going to come out, and also Clarabelle's ice cream, which it could be added over here. But all of the eating establishments, sad that's a bummer. So a little bit of classic Toontown here in terms of the facades, but other than that, goodbye gazebo, which is right about here. I don't have ADHD, but boy, am I a 12 year old kid losing my mind. Toontown is a part of that childhood memory if you were born in the 90s, me in the early 2000s. You just have fond memories of this place, and I'm glad the powerhouse is still here. Oh man, the glass factory. The unliftable weight, the jail cell. It's looking beautiful and very repainted. But I gotta say, just my one sadness, my one critique other than the bathroom signs is they got rid of the Roger Rabbit fountain. And I get, it's great having all this open space. In the summer, it's not gonna be fun. But right now, fantastic for kids running around, families just to lay down and pass out. But come on, that fountain, it was gorgeous. It tied the whole land together. No way, Roger is still here alive and well. He's reopening in March when all of Tim Henry opens. As you can see, it's so loud. You can see the whole land's blocked off and other than Mickey Minnie's, but um, well, at least Roger's still here in terms of the ride. Put a happy smile on your radio dial with W-A-C-K-Y For music and news or whatever you choose at W-A-C-K-Y and to my limited knowledge, I believe you can walk around Two Town at least right now before park closes as long as you want. No one's really monitoring you and kicking you out. You can only go on the attraction once. But you can just kind of stroll around, take all the sights and sounds, take photos, have a good time. And yeah, if you guys are trying to figure out how to get on this attraction, we missed the 7 a.m. virtual queue for this Sunday. We got the 1 a.m. on the 1 a.m. We got the 1 p.m. queue. I just quick refresh once 
right when it hit 1 p.m. And it was boarding group 137 for us at that time. They were boarding about group 45. And nearly, oh my goodness, nine hours later, we got on. You just never know. Anything past 100 or 104 for our case is extra. So you have a chance of potentially getting on like we did. But Toontown as a whole closes from 8 to 10 every night that there's fireworks on the weekend. So you are that. But even with that, we still got on. Time to spare even. What a blessing from the Lord. Well, it was a lot of fun. I just feel like I'm like a stereotypical vlogger. I remember when it was like cool to be one of the only people that had a camera filming themselves in the park. It wasn't like the big fad. Anywho, thanks you guys. It was a lot of fun. We did it again. See you guys later and have a good old time. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, there goes the monorail. One last time. There it is. Yay! Man, I swear. I just lose it when I'm in the parks. How fun. Absolute success. That wasn't a good shot. Absolute success.